Hey y'all, my name is Tori and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play the game How Does Your Garden Grow? This is a color matching game for ages 4 plus and it can be done with 2 to 4 players. Um, it's a really simple little game and it's really cute and a lot of fun. So there are several main components of the game. There is each player gets a garden. There are seeds, which are these colorful little teardrop shaped pieces. I'm going to put those back in the bag for now. And then there are cards. And there's four types of cards in this. So there are different vegetables and fruits, which all have different colors that match the seeds. There are helpers, like ladybugs and bees and things like insects that would help your garden. Um, there are pests, which are things like rabbits and raccoons that really like to get in your garden and take the things that you've been growing. And there are picket cards. Um, these all do different things in the game, and I'll explain that kind of as I go. Um, so the way you would start with this game is each player, so we've got this set up as though I've got two players right now. Each player would draw from the bag and pick six seeds at random. So this first player got three red seeds, two yellow seeds, and an orange seed. And they set right on these cute little uh, spots on the board next to each garden plot. So this player gets two green, a blue, a red, and two purples. Now the rest of the seeds stay in the baggie, and you shake those up a little to mix them up really good. So the way this would work is the first person would take a turn, so we're going to go with this person on the right, and they would draw a card. So if the first person, they, the card that they drew is orange, because it's a carrot. So they would look at their seeds and see if they had a seed that matched the color of the card that they pulled. So they would pull, they would put it down here because they have an orange seed. So they put it in their garden. If player two takes a turn, they pull a card from the pile and they pull blueberries. So they do have a blue seed, so then they would put that next to the blue seed because it matches the color. Now what you're trying to do is completely fill up your garden with the seeds that you have. Now, if you pull a card, um, if you pull a card and it doesn't match a color that you have, so let's say this person pulled another orange one, they can choose to one time pick one of the seeds that they have, put it back in the bag, and randomly draw another one to see if they get an orange one. They didn't, they did, actually. So then they would get to put the carrot there and keep the seed. If they had pulled a blue seed out instead of an orange seed, they would discard the carrot and not get to keep it in their garden. The other cards in the game are the helper, which the helper bugs, you get to pull two cards from the pile. So this person, we're gonna just pick them in the middle here. This person gets a tomato, which they do have red, so they put the red there. And they pull an eggplant, which they don't have purple, so what they'll do is they'll take, we're going to take one of the yellow seeds, put it in there, shake it up, and try to pull out a purple. They didn't. They pulled out a green. So the eggplant, they, get, they put the green one back on their board, the eggplant goes in the discard pile. The second type, the other type of critter card is a pest. So let's say this person, again, it's their turn again, and they draw a pest. They have to get rid of one of their garden cards. So we're gonna pick the carrots. So now they are back down to only one fruit or vegetable. And now it, let's say it's this person's turn and they pull this fourth card, which is the picket card. If this person has a fruit or vegetable in their garden, or any of the other players, if you're playing with more than two, the person who drew the picket card can look at the other players and decide, well, I've got a red seed that needs a, a fruit or vegetable, and you've got a red plant. 
I'm going to take your red plant and I'm going to put it here on my thing. Now, let's say that they didn't have a red seed. They had three purples, two greens and a blue, and they don't have any of those. They could at that point do like they do in the other one, pick a seed. So, and so, let's say they did pick out a red seed, then they could take the person's tomato, but they only get to do that once. So if they don't pick out anything um, that matches any of the fruits or vegetables that they have in their garden, they get to, they just have to put the seed down and that's it. Now, if you have a situation where let's say somebody pulls, let's see, somebody pulls a helper and they pull two cards and they have a helper again. They get to pull two more cards. And it just kind of keeps going if you pull another helper. So that's two more cards. And now there's a pest. So now they have to replace one of the cards with the pest. So you would just keep going until you were done. So that is the basics of how to play How Does Your Garden Grow. Like I said, it's a really cute little uh, color matching game. There's a little bit of strategy to it in um, whether you want to trade out a seed or not, or who's, uh, if you get the picket card, whose other fruits and vegetables that you get to pick. And it's a really fast paced, cute little game. Like I said, it is four plus with two to four players. Thank you guys for learning how to play How Does Your Garden Grow With Me. Um, I hope you guys get a chance to play it either uh, on your own or at the library when we're open up to play games again. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day, y'all.